try and project as much as possible and I hope you can hear me I am after all an ex school teacher so I have learned how to speak and project but it's been a while <laughs> we have some special guests we will introduce but the special guests today are the students can I hear the students please <laughs> Because it's all about our students. It's all about our children. It is all about trying to offer you every opportunity to be the best, the best that you can be. And I would like to congratulate all those students who are here today who represent our best students. A good hand for our students. And also, I would like to recognize all of the students who are listening uh, on STAR today, on the radio, live. We are going to announce the winners of our A's for Excellence campaign. So I want to say hello to all those who are listening. And I want to say hello to all those children who entered the A's for Excellence campaign because it means that they had at least one A in their report card and that they're excelling in school. So congratulations. I'm going to give you some figures. We had 928 students enter. 928 A students, OK? And that represented 7,046 A's. We counted them. 7,046 A's. Congratulations to all of our students. It's all about you. And we had 105 schools enter. And I'm talking family islands, because you know you can enter online. And children in New Providence, private, government schools, primary, high school, and tertiary college students as well. So congratulations, and this is all a celebration of our children. Because the chi without the children, we are not going to go and get anywhere. They are our hope. This is why we parents work. This is why we do the best that we can for our children so that they can excel and do better than what we did and do better than we have done with our country. Let's move it to be even better. Now, so that brings me to the second heroes of today and that, that is the parents. I would like a big hand for parents, guardians, grandparents. Trust me, trust me, without the parents, we can achieve nothing. The Ministry of Education, the government, the schools, the teachers can work 20 hours a day. But without the parents, the guardians, the grandparents, the community, we will achieve nothing. It is thanks to you that our children sit here today feeling good about themselves and excelling. So congratulations to the parents. Now, we do have some special guests up here who make it happen as well every day. Every day. I've done it. They get up, they go to school, they meet up with our children. They make them curious. 
They give them enthusiasm. They help them to excel. Uh, so we have here representatives of the teachers. Uh, and I would like to congratulate all teachers, encourage all teachers to keep going. Thank you very much for the job you're doing every day. Because yeah. today we're also rewarding the school that had the most entries. And we don't know what it is yet. But the two top running schools are QC, and we have Mrs. Angela Calmer, who is the vice principal of the primary school. So QC is in the running. QC is in the running. And we have representatives from Temple Christian who are also in the running. And I'm telling you, it's very close. This is Mr. Perry Cunningham, principal of Temple Christian. And we also are happy to welcome the vice principal of Temple Christian, who has also joined us, Mr. Francis Kakoulis. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very bad with names. So, you know, we want to thank our teachers who every day are in the front line. And they are trying to keep up with a very changing world. Education is changing so fast. Do you remember the British Encyclopedia? That's how I got my information, OK? An encyclopedia like this, I had to go read. I didn't even understand it. Our children live in a very different world, and it is our challenge to keep up with the information, to help them to make good decisions, to look at all the information that is available to them, evaluate it, and come back with a good answer, a thought-out answer. So the teachers are here. We also have a representative from Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, BTBI, and um, also a student from BTBI who is going to be the recipient of our scholarship. That is Cyril Sands, one of our A students. Congratulations, Cyril. You'll hear more about it. And Mr. Monty Riley, who is the chief accountant, person in charge of the money at BTBI. Thank you for coming. <laughs> he makes it possible for students who are promising, like Cyril, to get scholarships, to get assistance, to get help, so that they can also excel, because it is also about the money. And finally, but not least at all, is <laughs> the Honorable Jerome Fitzgerald, MP for Marathon, and our minister in charge of the Ministry of Education, <laughs> Science, and Technology. Again, I want to congratulate all the parents here today. It shows that you are concerned and dedicated to your child's success. And I want to encourage you to continue to do that because the role you play is a very significant role. I want to thank Mrs. Farmer who is the Director of Custom Computers Limited, a staff here who continue to do a great job. All the students, the parents, I want to say again, good afternoon. It is indeed a pleasure for me to be a part of the A's for Excellence contest organized by Custom Computers Limited to reward students who have excelled in their academic studies over the years. I wish again to thank Ms. Farmer for, and her team for staging this event, which recognizes students for their hard work and commitment to their education. As Ms. Farmer said, she is an educator, which shows that she is dedicated and committed to devoting her time and energies to ensure that students excel in education and her company plays a, a significant role in that regard. The adage prevails, of course, that once a teacher, always a teacher. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> I am delighted to learn that many projects that you have supported on an annual basis, including the Primary School, school Student of the Year Award, the Alpha, Psi, the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Outstanding Male Student Awards, a scholarship program at BTVI, and environmental programs and causes such as CANS for kids. Is this the barrel here? That's one of them. That, well, that's, well, that's the big barrel over yeah, there. Okay, that's good. A, yeah. We can see from the barrel that there are a number of <laughs> entries in there. 
and I feel the overwhelming success of pride in our students. I understand, as was stated, there were over 700 students who are in the barrel. Yeah. Good. 900? Sorry, 920. 920. You had the older Okay, 928. And 7,000 A's. And 7,000 A's, excellent. The growth of this program speaks to how well our students are performing. And as I said, that is the positive news of education in our country. I want to remind people that from where I sit, I get to travel around the length and breadth of the Bahamas and see the brightest in our country. And I can tell you that what I see, I have hope that our future is bright. I congratulate all of the participants for your achievements, and I encourage you to continue to do your best. The greatest reward for hard work is independence and increased opportunities. Again, I thank the parents for supporting your children and demonstrating that success in education comes through partnership partnership between the schools, parents, and the community at large. Thank you all again, and congratulations to all you students and parents. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very kind. Well, very good. I know that you are all here just to hear the names of the winners, right? So we're just going to get on with it, and we are going to first pick the college student. This was the first year that we invited college students studying in the Bahamas okay. at the tertiary level to enter. And this is our little barrel because mm. um, not too many of them joined us this year. I think it's because it was new and it'll grow like the other ones have grown. So what we would like to do is we would um, like to draw the name of the winner of the tertiary student of uh, the year, the one that for the A's for Excellence for 2013. This is of course our sixth annual A's for Excellence. So would you do us a favor, would you pick it for us? You want me to help? Yes, you? yes. And we're going to of course with... <laughs> That's Kelly L, a member of the Know How team. And we now have a winner. Yay! <laughs> Kel Kelly L is a member of the Know How team. She's been practicing heavily. <laughs> so the winner is Loretta Maycock, Galilee College. Loretta Maycock of Galilee College. You know her? It is our great, great pleasure to give you today your MacBook Pro to ensure that you will have great success in your studies. Well done. So let me, let me just ask you a question. What are, what are you studying? Accounting. Accounting. Yes, I guess so. Very good. Are mm -hmm. you going to be in charge of all the um, accounting and the money at the Ministry of Education one day? Oh, no, 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 no that's not my, um, that's not my <laughs> And how long have you been studying for this? Um, for two years. Very good. Um, and how much time is, do you still have to go? Well, um, I graduated in, in June. Oh, you graduated yeah, in June. Yeah, oh, oh, she graduated in June. Well done. <laughs> And you go, she's going on to do her master's now, you know. Very good. Congratulations. We wish you every success. Every well done. This is yours. And, and also, this is yours. Here we go. And also, this is yours. <laughs> they could take a picture of you before you go, yes? Thank you. Well, that's great. It's, it's also nice to see somebody going on studying, you know, and, and learning and expanding their horizons and their vision. I always say you have to keep on reinventing yourself. You have to keep on learning something and trying something and growing. Otherwise, it's boring. I personally have had many lives. 
We'll, we'll talk about some other ones another time. <laughs> so now I, I would like to make a very brief um, comment and presentation before we choose the uh, high, high school. school student. And we got to bring that barrel out in a minute, OK? Because that's another big barrel. Um, we had uh, one of our know-how team members passed away. Uh, several years ago now, I would say uh, four years ago, maybe five, I don't recall. So when our good friend Ted Nutt passed away, Ted, who was very loved by everybody at Custom Computers and of course in, in, in society, but he was a great guy and he was really knowledgeable about computers and he got sick and he died. And we thought, what better way to honor him than to give a scholarship every year to a student who is interested in computers, like Ted was. So it is our great pleasure to present a scholarship to BTBI in the name of Ted Nutt to Mr. Cyril Sands. This is the second year that Cyril has received our scholarship because he did so well last year. He is indeed one of our good A students and he deserves to continue to excel at BTVI. So congratulations, Cyril. Thank you. Now Cyril is studying computers and uh, do you want to say a couple of words about what it is you're doing? I'm studying information technology. I'm working with networks. I'm doing A plus essentials and A plus network essentials. Uh, I have been doing this for a year right now. I hope to continue it. I do want to get to work with Cisco. Oh, wait, Cisco. Yes, yeah, a very inter interesting corporation. Oh, okay. And I do want to take my exam as soon as possible so I can get started in network. Oh, well done, well done. Congratulations. We wish you every success. Monty, remind me your last name. Riley. And this is Mr. Monty Riley. As we introduced him earlier, he's in charge of the money at BTBI. Yeah. And we would like to encourage anybody who would like to support a student or part of their fees every year to get in touch with Mr. Monty Riley at yes. BTVI. Yes, Do you want to say something about that? Oh, uh, well, what, what we, I would like to, first of all, thank Custom Computers. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, sponsoring Cheryl Sands and, um, to further his education. Uh, without corporate sponsors, um, a lot of our students are unable to afford, you know, um, an education, with, uh, even though the um, fees at, at BTVI isn't that expensive. It's reasonable. Yes, it's very reasonable. Um, but. For persons who would like to attend BTVI and who may need financial assistance, um, we have a financial aid department at the institution. Apply at financial apply aid. For financial aid. Um, and that's about it. And you know what they say? You can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. So if you don't ask what the opportunities may be for you to further your education, then you will never know. All right? It starts with an inspiration, then that leads you to an action. And then the universe will be kind and conspire to assist you. All right, thank you very much and congratulations again. All right, we have magically now our barrel for the high school students. How many high school students are here? A few quiet high school students. Well, you know, I would like to congratulate you for all the work that you do in circumstances that can sometimes be difficult. Because sometimes we don't respect people who are smart, who strive for knowledge, who strive to be educated. So I would like to encourage the teenagers. I had a son who was very good in school, but he wasn't particularly popular because he was good in school. But trust me, He's got his revenge now, doing his masters and doing really well and looking at a myriad of opportunities. 
So don't worry the noise in the market, you just go right ahead and excel. Would you like to pull the high school name now? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, would you like to come and pull the name of the high school student? It would be an honor. Oh, okay, come on, leave your thingy there and come with me. Alright! One, one, you pick two. You have to pick one. Don't put me in that position. Uh, thank you. Whee. Okay, so the winner is Joanne LaRocque of Tamberley School. She had nine A's, nine A's in her report card. So the high school student is Joanne LaRocque from Tamberley. Congratulations. If she can hear us, she needs to come and get it. She's got um, a Samsung package with all the bits that she's going to need to excel for the rest of her high school career. So maybe she will hear her name on the radio and she will come before we finish. <laughs> She'll be running. Okay, uh, next, before we, we uh, pull the name of the primary school student and uh, then afterwards we're going to do some door prizes and such for all the kids because we don't want anybody to leave with empty hands so we have some presents for you before you go we have some raffles we're going to do after all the official stuff is finished okay <coughs> all right we had a hundred and five schools Students from 105 schools enter their A's. And this year we said that the winning school was also going to be rewarded. Why not? So we have a fantastic prize. For the, high, for the school with the most entries. So if you would like to come here, Angela, for me and Mr. Cunningham, come here. And you can come also. So we know that a big challenge in the school is to have a wonderfully functioning copy, a printer, scanner, a blurb. So we decided this year we would give a beautiful Konica Minolta with all the bells and whistles machine to the school with the most entries. And the two leaders are QC and Temple Christian. Now, it has been a very close race. We were not able to determine who it was until today at 12 o'clock. It was that close. So we would like to congratulate your schools both and all the schools and encourage, tell your friends to enter next year so that your school can win. One year, St. Anne's won a whole uh, computer lab with five terminals and a, and a main computer. Okay, so we have some good prizes for the winning schools. Now, the envelope, please. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Miss Tammy. Miss Tammy is in charge of all sales for custom computers. She's been in custom computers since the beginning, since you were a mere child. <laughs> so she was in school herself. All right. Number three school was Kingsway Academy with 55 separate entries. So congratulations to Kingsway. <laughs> Just to show you how close it was, number two had, has 66 entries. 
And that would be num the first school. You know, the winner is. The first school is, has 80 entries, 80 entries. And the winning school is Queens College. Yeah. So congratulations to QC for being the school with the most entries. And we have a consolation prize for Temple Christian. We're not going to let them leave with their hands empty, I've already said. And we encourage you for next year. All right? Next year, let it be you. Cheers. Yay. 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 So, Mrs. Calmer, <laughs> it's your turn to speak. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to deliver this machine to you. Wonderful. We're going to set it up. Wonderful. And you will have no problems. It will be the magic machine of the school. Because <laughs> that's, that's how we roll at Custom Computers. All right? So, would you like to say a few words? I would just like to say thank you to all the students because it was the students who entered the competition. And so thank you. The, we'd also like to say thank you to Custom Computers. The machine will be going into our new bookshop so the students will have access to use the machine. So all thank right. you very much, everybody. Well done, students. Well done, QC. Congratulations. All right, everybody. <clears throat> So since um, you have won, we got to give uh, Principal Cunningham yes. an important role in the, in the event. <laughs> yeah. Would you be so kind as to draw our name for our pri primary school student? disappoint a lot of students. I'm sorry. If I could personally give each and every one of you a computer, I would do it. Okay? When I win the lotto, <laughs> we'll be doing some of that. But today there can only be one winner. But guess what? Next year, we're going to run this again. And next year there'll be opportunities to win other computers by excelling in spelling, doing well in school, primary school, high school. So today I have to disappoint everybody except <laughs> Ambria Davis of Temple Christian. <laughs> the most important people to congratulate are you, the students and the parents, and we want to thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everything you do. Now, we are going to, we're going to do some drawings of some raffles. I'm going to hand it over to Raquel and Latoya, and I'll walk you out. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to the minister for coming and for everybody else, our honored guests, for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Keep in touch.